Greetings everyone, here's Ludwig and this is a game war on the Pacific Admiral's Edition. This is my play by Emil Match against Kilroy and he's the commander of the Allied Forces. I am Japan and we play the scenario one with no modification in one day turn setup. Last turn was a uh, very soft turn, nothing really happens. My two battleships Nagato Mutsu find two Navy convoy ships, but this was, I think, the most active engagement at that turn and a lot of uh, sub hunting around Hawaii. So, um, we had, of course, some land battles in China with mixed result. Uh, and I hope maybe this turn I can take Bataan after three battles. There's no fort level left for Bataan. And I also try to still sweep all the rest of mines in Singapore. This engagement is still not in favor of anyone. So after my patrol boat uh, told me that here is an empty destroyer, I sent my light cruiser with some torpedo boats. These are real torpedo boats, ocean going torpo torpedo boats or light second class destroyers maybe. But again, no hit at each other. Don't know why, but they are able to miss each other always. This is a night engagement, but still. Yeah. More torpedoes and no hit. And it looks like there's no mines more in Singapore, or mines, yeah, but uh, there was mines in this small Dutch uh, island. So Singapore is clean, but uh, next to Singapore, Kilroy also put some mines in the port. Uh, yeah. So this is, I think, now at uh, Pago Pago or nearby. My battleships are uh, surprising an uh, enemy tanker and an uh, escort destroyer. Of course, no match. And uh, both ships are sunk. Still one shell hit, find my destroyer and make a little damage with fire. But okay, I will survive this. Hopefully. And there's more. So there's also a... Other cargo ship and I think this is an AS or... Let's say... What happens here? Yeah, it's an ADS. So this is an assistant submarine, so a sub-tender, but a, one of these American heavy sub-tenders, 10,000 tons, like a cruiser, and the AG. This is also nice, and of course, all the sink. I mean... Totally destroyed. Uh, uh, this is yeah, it pago pago. So more of this PT boats gets hit. At least I get the, not uh, the notification for this. If it really happens, who knows? Mm. 
sweep again. Still enemy fighters in this base, but they are not uh, on cap. And Bali Papan is also empty. Or no active cap. Again, no navy strikes. Yeah, my light cargo ship uh, sink. So I'm not able to detect the uh, at the edge uh, here and uh, there was a British task force or, but my navy bombers they detect the enemy but they cannot find the enemy so uh, now I sweep Batavia again trying to get rid of this uh, American Dutch allied uh, cap fighters it looks like a good outcome we will see at the end of the turn of really so many allied airplanes getting destroyed. Okay, nine out of twenty seven finds a target. There are still enemy cruisers trying, looking around, and I find at least one British light cruiser with a torpedo. And the rest can escape. But the most important is now this uh, light cruiser is heavy damage and he has no shipyard. And so wherever a killer try to go, it will be slow and dangerous. He can go to Darwin. This is maybe the most safe way for him, but Darwin has no shipyard. Maybe the next coming turns we will see. Dutch submarine still here in the on patrol. Good. Next they take on Sian. Fort go down and here. Yeah. The Chinese are making. But everything is retreating, nothing is really uh, off the map completely. Again, many disabled units for me and much more destroyed for the Chinese. The problem is I'm running in this really that I am I operating at the edge of my supplies. It's hard to really get my disabled units back to active. I invested a lot of supplies in industry and uh, all of the disabled units still consume uh, supplies uh, to get them back. And maybe I have to rest in Xi'an for one or two weeks to get all my might back. So I try also to break here in the uh, in center of China. So next Chinese city is uh, conquered. But each again, every battle consumes more supplies. Every time I have more disabled units here again. 
over 40 disabled again. And uh, his supply situation gets not better. So, I have now all cities uh, west of the Shangsha conquered, this three. Uh, but now I must uh, organize the defense and uh, I must rebuild this and uh, yeah, get in supplies. At the same time, there's still some Chinese corps west or east of Xi'an. This is my eastern army trying to link up with uh, my southern army. All these forces are now jumping to the north and more destroyed broken Chinese soil. My tanks try to finish this. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, the Chinese jumping to the source. More destroyed. They take this uh, Dutch island, and you can see there are some American mines in the port. So, I lost here one of my cargo ships, but only a small price. Now, kill boy make bombardment on my Chinese troops, or on my Japanese troops. And yeah, I must first dig in. Uh, and the allies uh, here, Kilroy, cross the river and uh, take Xi'an and uh, Aisha. And I had here only some Chinese uh, support units left behind. Simply because I don't really uh, care this uh, spot too much. The best uh, situation, um, the best uh, benefit to hold Ai Shang is normally that you can threaten to take this road mm, source and cut uh, Shangsha from behind but I did this from the source way and not from the north so I do not really need this city now and yeah this is the first one of my first uh, destroyed unit but it's not a complete unit it's only a third of a unit so I don't must buy it back and it's only a Chinese police unit so it doesn't matter for me this kind of guys they are supposed to die. And to die for the Emperor is still an honor, so it's uh They don't get old, they don't have a pain back later or anything uh they can keep their uh they dying with a young body and uh, had a lot of fun hopefully. Good uh Air war was successful. We had this engagement over Batavia, and uh, I was able to kill nine Dutch buffaloes plus four American P40s, and I lost not one of my fighters. Nice. Plus a P36 Mohawk. I think this is in America somewhere. Training airplane. And this was a Betty uh, attack on this light British light cruiser, and the British they have really strong flex, so I lost one. Navy bomber against flag, but I was also able to create one torpedo hit. This is a good ratio. So nice. Ship sunk was uh, at the end. Uh, this is my small Japanese cargo ship. Nothing really special. Uh, if Cape Town sunk now, don't ask me. At least it is heavily damaged. And uh, this was this other equipment: the AG, the AO, AVP. And the best is this AS, this heavy, you can see it's uh, nearly 10,000 ton, 9,000 ton, this is like light heavy cruiser equipment. So this is also the, why the points are so high. Uh, I really don't know if there's any benefit if this uh, AS are so big. I think, I would only say they are far ocean going maybe, but uh, the Japanese, they don't have normally so heavy stuff. And I don't know if there's any other benefit. Because normally to supply a, a submarine, I would say it doesn't matter how big the ship is. It's only important how many supplies this ship have. Of course, you must then load always a ship with supplies. And yeah, For maybe very remote islands, you can bring this heavy stuff to the island to have this longer on duty. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, uh, these ships are all dead. No, fine. And the Fox was a Clemson class destroyer. Okay. Got a very successful turn at the end. 
Uh, most important is that uh, I took Sian and uh, the problem is only he has really no supplies here. And the base is mm, in good shape. You can see 25% gets destroyed, but this is acceptable. Uh, I get kicked out of Ai Chang and this unit gets completely. Well, this part of the unit gets completely wiped out. But I also kick out the Chinese here. And uh, I took both of the cities, and uh, here the industry is still okay. 90% and even more is uh, still running. So, on both bases, fine. That is always welcome. Still no attack on Bataan, maybe next time I will strike. And I have landed already some troops here and marching north to take this island. I think here's a still stronghold, here's a stronghold and one more American unit must hide I think here or here, I don't know but we will see and sooner or later I have also to strike on Tarakan and Balpapan these are the next battles before I really can focus all on Java and here is my task force uh, running in this shitty mines And uh, there's another light cargo ship, also heavy flotation damage, and maybe will also go down. So I lost maybe two. This small mine surprise maybe killed two of my cargo ships. Luckily, all my Navy Guard units was already uh, unloaded. So really only this cargo ship sunk. Still many ships here may be trapped, but they're all AKs and torpedo boats and uh, sub chasers, so... Maybe your uh, Kilroy only keep here small equipment to keep me busy here and let me not operate everything very easily. My, uh, I don't know, here is my battleship formation is still here uh, waiting that I see anything incoming or outgoing but uh, looks nothing is now here. This is this British task force uh, trying to move east and yeah I think make maybe a surprise attack on Port Moresby again or wherever they won't go but I was able to bring in at least one torpedo hit. Good. And uh, we now normally it's a no-go zone for every navy unit without fighter escort. And there is normally no way from Cooktown to give a fighter escort here. So I have navy bombers running out of Rabul and uh, with torpedoes equipped, so it's super dangerous to operate anything coming close to Port Moresby now. Yeah, so nothing here. I intercepted some stuff here in Pago Pago, but now I have no detection more. Nothing here. My submarines still tell me that there is some cargo stuff, so my carriers will normally next turn arrive here, and maybe then we will see how successful my raid against. Baker Island and Canton Island is. Good. Thank you all. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.